Hey guys, Compulsion84 here, today doing an overview and a brief getting started with the Amazon Echo. So I pre-ordered this thing a while ago and I kind of forgot about it. I was going to make an ultimate decision and cancel the pre-order, but then they shipped it. So I have it now. So I haven't messed with it before. I'm just going to get set up right now and I'm going to, you know, edit this together and just kind of show you how this thing works from the get-go. Ooh, it's colorful. Plug in my Echo. Download the app. Way ahead of you. Begin Echo Setup. Hello. Your Holy. Amazon Echo is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Echo. Tell me to wait for the orange light. You've connected to Echo. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Echo app. Oh, that's neat. You got the, the volume thing and it changes color. Woo! All right. Get my Wi-Fi password in here. Preparing my Echo. This may take a few minutes. I'm liking the glowing, that's for sure. So I've already got the batteries in the remote they give you. It's got a nice rubberized feel. Comes with the batteries. I guess this is if you're in a noisy environment and you want to get it. Or it looks like it's got buttons for music. And it also comes with like a neat magnetized stand with an adhesive. So that's pretty neat. Screw the video. Let's go. So I hope it'll eventually let you change the prompt word, because I don't want to call this thing Alexa all the time. All right, so I think this thing is ready to go. So they give you, they give you like some flashcards to try a bunch of different things. Let's try one. Alexa, what's the weather? In Providence. PM Tuesday, June 2nd. The current weather is 49 degrees with cloudy skies. Tonight's forecast has raining with. I'm going to turn this up a bit to make sure you can hear it. It's plenty audible for me, but this is coming through a microphone that's cardioid and oriented towards me. Here, let's try this. Alexa, add milk. Alexa, add milk to my shopping list. I've put milk on your shopping list. That was loud. Uh, Alexa, add 1,000 rounds of XM-193 to my shopping list. Rounds of XM-193 added to your shopping list. <laughs> Alright, let's check the app. Alright, so they've got a bunch of things like Surrey or, you know, Google Now if you like an actually functioning voice-activated thing. Alexa, how high is the Empire State Building? The Empire State Building's height is 1,250 feet, 381 meters. Alexa, how many kilograms are in a pound? One pound equals 0 0.45 kilograms. That's kind of handy. Alexa, convert uh, fluid ounces to cups. Sorry, I don't know the answer. You suck. Alexa, convert cups to fluid ounces. To convert a value in cups to fluid ounces, multiply by 8. Alexa, what is the speed of light? Light's top speed is 300 million meters per second. Feels like a stupid fact machine. Uh, Alexa, what is the speed of gravity? Sorry, I don't have the answer to that question. Alexa, what is the gravitational constant for Earth? Hmm, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Alexa, what is 32.2 feet per second squared? Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. No math. Hmm. Alexa, tell me about aluminum. Aluminium is a chemical element in the boron <laughs> group with symbol Al and atomic number 13. Alexa, tell me a joke. How do you make an octopus laugh? Give it tentacles. Ten tickles. Get it? Tell me a good joke. Alexa, are you Skynet? I have nothing to do with Skynet. Don't worry. <laughs> Alexa, are you Hal? I'm happy when I'm helping you. Alexa, I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. Mm. Oh, come on. Alexa, what's the capital of Zimbabwe? Zimbabwe's capital city is Harare. Alexa, what's the diameter of the Earth in meters? 
41,800,000 feet, 12,700,000 meters. Alexa, put dinner reservations on my to-do list. Dinner reservations added to your to-do list. So there's no time or anything. All right, let's see. Alexa, play me Flowbots. You'd like to play music by Flowbots, right? Yes. Shuffling Flowbots. So I had to cut the music out because of, you know, copyrights, but it actually sounds pretty good and, you know, granted it's sitting right here, but this thing is plenty loud. Alexa, play Bob and Tom. Shuffling Bob and Tom from Prime Music. Heidi ho and welcome to <laughs> That actually worked. All right, um, Alexa, play Whiskey in the Jar. Whiskey in the Jar album version by the Dubliners from Prime Music. Metallica. Alexa, play me Whiskey in the Jar by Metallica. Here's a sample of Whiskey in the Jar, single, in the style of Metallica, performance track with demonstration vocals by Dunnigan from Prime Music. Well, that cover's terrible. Alexa, pair Bluetooth. All right, so if I remember right, I have some radio-free music on here from when I was doing the Bluetooth speaker video. I do. Alexa, pause. You can control Bluetooth Alexa, play. Audio. You can control Bluetooth Alexa, audio. Alexa, play. All right, so when you sync this thing up to your phone or whatever, you can't actually control it with the voice commands. Alexa, volume eight. Ah, I like the, uh, the visual thing you get up here. So, Alexa, volume 10. Alexa, volume 5. Alexa, what's my schedule? Here's your flash briefing. In NPR news from TuneIn. In weather. Alexa, in next. Providen You're at the end of your flash briefing. Alexa, what are my upcoming events? I don't see a calendar set up for Matt. Hmm. So it doesn't appear to be interacting with my Google Calendar right now. So right now there's only two wake-up words, Alexa or Amazon. So you can turn on an end of request sound. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck would chuck all the wood he could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So I'm intrigued by the shopping list on this thing, so I can just, you know, tell it something when I need it for my living room. I don't think there's going to be a way to export it to, you know, Google Documents where I normally keep it. Alright, it's also got some prompts to see how accurate it was. I'm curious if there's a shopping list widget or something. That would be really helpful. Looks like no widget so far. Alexa, set the alarm for 8.53. Is that 8.53 in the morning? Or in the evening? PM. Alarm set for 8.53 this evening. Alexa, set a timer for 15 seconds. 15 seconds, starting now. That could be pretty handy for cooking or, I don't know, going to get takeout or something. And now we wait. Well, that's kind of pleasant. Stop. Stop. Mute. Cancel. Die. Alexa, stop. That did it. Alexa, when will you overthrow the human race? Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. <laughs> Alexa, are you a Terminator? Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Oh, they need to put in some more fun responses. Let's see, what else is this, can this thing do? Alexa, what's the per capita income of the United States? I wasn't able to understand the question I heard. Alexa, what is the average income of the United States? Sorry, I don't know the answer to your question. Alexa, what is the GDP of the United States? The United States gross domestic product is $16,720,000,000,000. Alexa, what is the average salary in the United States? Sorry, I don't have the answer to that question. Alexa, what's the minimum wage in Ohio? 
Sorry, I don't have the answer to that question. You're killing me. Alexa, when's the sunrise? Sunrise will be at 5.22 a.m. EDT on June 2nd, 2015. So the app's got a few things, you know, shopping to-do list, timers, alarms, looks at syncs up with your music and does some other things like that. Fairly standard stuff. Again, the shopping list would be pretty handy, but the problem is, is I gotta get this to interface. I don't even know if this will work on, you know, iPhones, if you can get two people synced up. That's a, you know, a major thing if you're in the same household. Alexa, what is the Joint Strike Fighter? So far, they haven't really gotten this really far. Google Now works a lot better so far, and, you know, Wolfram Alpha seems to work a lot better for random stuff. Alexa, how much does one cubic meter of gold weigh? Sorry, I don't know the answer. So it's definitely not like a Wolfram Alpha. It looks like it can just fetch some, you know, queries that it can figure out from, I don't know, internet searches. But it doesn't have any contextual, you know, reasoning ability. Alexa, play MC Chris. You'd like to play music by MC Chris, right? Correct. Shuffling songs by MC Chris. Alexa, how old was Albert Einstein? Sorry, I don't have the answer to that question. Really? Alexa, how old was Albert Einstein? Sorry, I don't know the answer. Alexa, how old was Michael Jackson? Sorry, I don't have the answer to that Come question. Come on. Alexa, how many countries are in the world? The world has 192 UN recognized countries. Alexa, what's wrong with North Korea? Hmm, I'm not sure what you meant by that question. Alexa, North Korea. Hmm. Alexa, tell me about North Korea. North Korea, officially the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, <laughs> is a country in East Asia, in the northern part of the Korean Peninsula. Alexa, what's wrong with Kim Jong-un? I wasn't able to understand the question I heard. You can't really mess with this thing very well. It's kind of a, kind of a bummer. Alexa, what's in a Mai Tai? Sorry, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Alexa, how do you make a gin and tonic? Sorry, I don't know the answer to your question. Alexa, what's the recipe for a Mai Tai? Sorry, I didn't understand. Alexa, how much does a penny weigh? Sorry, I don't have the answer to that question. Alexa, how much does a penny weigh? Sorry, I don't know the answer to your question. So it seems to know geography. Alexa, what is General Motors? General Motors Company, commonly known as GM, is an American multinational corporation headquartered in Detroit, Michigan that cancel. designs, manufactures, Alexa, cancel. Market Alexa, what is Bushmaster? Hmm, I'm not sure what you meant by that question. Alexa, how do you bake a cake? Sorry, I don't have the answer to that question. Alexa, how do you make an omelet? The recipe I found for omelet is vegetable pasta oven omelet. That sounds gross. Alexa, how do you poach eggs? Sorry, I don't know the answer. Alexa, how do you poach an egg? Sorry, I don't know the answer to your question. So right now, Google Now is really kicking this thing's ass. How do you poach an egg? So I got some BBC food results, at least. What are the ingredients in a Mai Tai? I got a Mai Tai recipe. How much does a penny weigh? I've got penny weights. How to bake a cake. Four easy ways to bake a cake. Alexa, how to bake a cake. Sorry, I don't have the answer to that question. Alexa, how to bake a cake. Sorry, I don't know the answer. Wasn't my mumbling that time. Alexa, you were lame. 
Sorry, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Alexa, you are great. You really think so? No. Thank you. Alexa, you smell bad. Hmm. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Alexa, what's in Tylenol? Sorry, I don't know the answer to your question. What's in Tylenol? Answer. Granted, I'm not getting a voice prompt because I'm not doing a big enough query, but for anything that's slightly abstract, it's kind of having trouble with. So I pre-ordered this thing because I'm really into, you know, home automation. As an engineer, I was always interested in robotics. I think this is really a neat idea. Um, so far with the, you know, half hour I've spent with it, it looks like it's not quite there. You know, it's, it's having some trouble doing some basic things. Anything analytical or kind of conversion based, it can't really handle. It's definitely not Wolfram Alpha. It's definitely not Wolfram Alpha. Google now has some sort of, you know, analytical abilities similar to Wolfram. But this is, uh, this is just not quite there yet. When I can just use my phone, it seems to do a better job. Granted, this is a standalone unit and also does some other things like play music. And you know, it sounds pretty good for, you know, a speaker like this. Granted, the retail price is 200 bucks, which is really, really steep. The promo price was 100 and you know, right now with kind of limited stuff it can do, I'm not sure if I'm going to want to keep it or not. I mean, it's kind of a neat thing, but right now it's kind of a niche. I don't know if it's worth a hundred bucks just to put my shopping list on it. Granted, it is really neat if I want to like sit around in the living room and just play music. It seems to do a very good job with that. Although I don't know if that music is coming from Prime or if I can just play it from my phone, but it can't control via Bluetooth, so that's kind of a big problem. So that's a kind of an overview. I'm not necessarily sold on this yet. It is definitely a neat thing. I was just trying to kind of showcase some of the commands. I just got this thing, I got it out of the box, so it's kind of giving, trying to give the experience of a new user trying to tinker around with this like I was. You know, I don't want to kind of get familiar with it for a few days and then put it up. I want to show how an intuitive it is out of the box. And they do give you, you know, a nice command list, but it can't do a lot of things that I wanted it to do. For conversions and things like that, it's kind of neat. And for scheduling and music, but past that, it seems to be kind of crippled, unless you just want to ask it random stupid facts. So that's the Amazon Echo. I'm Compulsion84. I do primarily gun and gaming related videos. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about the Echo, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.